UFO theory with a terrifying twist. A leaked slide from the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, ATIP, suggested the phenomenon can manipulate both physical and cognitive environments in order to penetrate U.S. facilities, influence decision makers, and compromise national security. Not just physical, but also cognitive environments. In June, investigative reporter Tim McMillan told the basement office host Stephen Greenstreet, a source inside the Intel aerospace world, claimed UFOs, quote, were not flying saucers, they weren't Tic Tacs, they were something that possessed the ability to make your mind see what makes sense to you, end quote. Two years earlier, a leaked slide from the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, or ATIP, suggested the phenomenon can manipulate both physical and cognitive environments in order to penetrate U.S. facilities, influence decision makers, and compromise national security. Tom DeLong, who's to the Stars Academy, is working with ATIP veterans, recently suggested that they may represent a disturbing and ancient control mechanism. Something Jacques Vallée has hypothesized in the past. Could all of this be related? Might UFOs, the flaming castles of the 1700s and 1897 phantom airships, and more modern saucers and tic tacs present themselves differently depending on the time period? And do the goals of the phenomenon change over time? Or might humankind unknowingly be driving these changes in UFO appearances? And this is on Bedded Reality. I'll leave a link below. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.